Hi guys, Andrea here from Lifestyle Ultimatum. Today I will show you my affiliation toolkit for tracking the affiliate click and all the event single wall analytics. And also you will see many other things that will be certainly useful in the management of your online business. Let's give a look at what we learned today and what we can get from the method. So what we will see is how to track every event with Google Analytics, how to set the JavaScript code that will track all the events for us, how to set up a plugin, the short coder, to create a list of links ready to use, how to hide our affiliate link and track individual click with pretty link or thirsty affiliate, how to check if your code is really working, and which alternative are there to this method explained. Also, when you unlock the box below the video, sharing it on your social network, I will give you my special report you see in this tutorial that I personally use inside my Google Analytics. First, it is fair to say that the idea that I will show you in this video was inspired to me by Matthew Woodward and a recent tutorial I've created for the Italian market. If you already know the Matthew method, you will see that the result is very similar. Although, in this case, it becomes much easier to trace more events with more accuracy and less work on our part, because it is all automated. As you can see, this method allows me to have a list of events, where I can see all the affiliate click. If I click on a specific event, Analytics will tell me in which category the event is included, and clicking again, I will see in which pages the link has been clicked, so I can understand which pages are the most effective and which one requests more attention. Let's begin with some theory to understand how everything is working. This is the complete code that we will use to track the event in Universal Analytics. The code is made by a normal link with which we obtain a classic link. We can add the, the tag nofollow if needed to tell to Google to don't consider the link so important. And if we add to the code the onclick part, every time someone click on the link, it sends this parameter the affiliate tag to let us understand that it is a click on an affiliate link, the product name, and the page URL where this link has been clicked. In this way, in analytics, we can know which is the page that convert more and understand what work and what not. Everything is managed by a JavaScript code that generates the tracking code automatically by linking it to a specific class. And in the daily activities, we don't need to remember special code to create the link because every event we want to track will be managed by our short coder plugin or the thirsty affiliate plugin, if you prefer. So let's see how to install it. To reveal the code to use, you need to unlock the box below and copy the code in the clipboard. Let's copy the code and paste it in the header or footer of your theme. Or, if you prefer, copy it directly in the theme setting if your theme has a specific field. I prefer the last method because in case I update the theme, I don't lose any customization. Once copied the code, it is made to work with the affiliate class. This means that I will track every link that has a class named affiliate. If you want to change the name of the class to track other kind of links, like banner, you just need to paste a second code with a different class name inside, as I have done. Thanks to it, I can track all the different kind of banner I have in Lifestyle Ultimate. Then, I clock the affiliate link using pretty link that allow me to have in the pro version other interesting feature like the pretty bar and the tracking pixel that help me to track the conversion also with external pages not hosted on my website. It is a useful feature that you can't miss. To create a clocked link, you just need to go under pretty link, add a pretty link and then insert the destination link. Then the link you want to appear in your website, set the link as no follow and then click add. This will create a link clocked that is branded to your website. Very useful that also allow you to track the total click on the link. At the end, we need to create a link code completed with the class inside the short coder plugin. In order to do this, go under Settings and then Short Coder. Here will appear a mask where to paste the code you want to use in the short code inside the post. To create a short code with the affiliate link, you need to fill the field like this. Like you can see, this code have also the class in it. In the class, insert the affiliate class if you don't have changed it in the JavaScript code I've given you. Then, under href, insert the clocked link just created. Set the target as a blank 
if you want the link to open in a new window and in the anchor text you can insert this code person person in lowercase a name to use as identifier and then person person again if you use this code you can customize the anchor text every time you use this short code and then give it a name better all in lowercase without spaces to not have error when you use it once done, update the short code and let's see how it works. Let's create a new post and click on the short coder icon. Here will appear the list of short coder we created. Choose the one you want to use. Personalize the anchor text and then click insert short code. If we preview the article, you will see that the short code have been replaced with the link and the link will be tracked by our system automatically. Now we need to verify if our tracking system works. To be sure that our tracking system is working properly, usually the only way to do it is to wait days after someone click on our affiliate link and that Google Analytics show us the result. But there is a faster and simple method that we can use immediately with a Chrome extension. First, we need to install the Google Analytics Debugger extension. To do this, we have to go under Chrome, Preferences, and then Extension, and search for the Analytics Debugger. When the extension is installed, you will see a new icon in the interface of Chrome. I have it here in the upper right. Click it to activate it, and Chrome will reload the page. To be ready, the icon must have the word on on it. Now we are ready to check the code. Right-click on the link and select Inspect Element from the menu. It will appear on a new screen with the code of the link. Click on Console and click the icon to clean the console. Click the link and it will open the URL in a new window. Go back to the article and see in the console that appeared the tracking code. Let's see how the tracking code works on my Inspectlet tutorial. Here I have two different link class, so we can see the right example. Clean the console. If I click on the link, it will make appear the tracking code. If we read the tracking code, it shows us heat map, that is the last part of the link created in Pretty Link, then affiliate, that is the class to help us remember which kind of link it is, and then the URL of the page where the link has been clicked. If you see that there is more than one data block sent for each click, probably you're using a plugin to integrate Google Analytics, like maybe Google Analyticator, that already has his event sending from external link. If it happened, deactivate the plugin and copy the analytics code directly in the header of the theme, and this will resolve the problem. Let's do it again on the offer box where I have set a new class. Clean the console, let's click the button, and again appear the tracking code. If I go and read it, everything's still the same, but it changed the class. So I know that this click is coming from an offer box and not from a normal link. Just to be sure, let's check if the link have worked correctly. And just to let you understand, if I inspect the code, you will see that this button has a different class. And if we explore the tracking code, there is the same class in it. Obviously, the same information, you will find them again inside Google Analytics the very next day. Because remember that in analytics we see only the data of the previous day. Now let's see how to import my special custom analytics report. I have created a special report where clicking inside every voice menu it gives me directly the connected information. Here I can see what has been clicked through the banner and from which pages the click arrived. You can download the same report in your analytics account but first you have to be sure to be logged in in your analytics account and then you must visit the link I posted here in the article. When the page is loaded, the system asks you to give a name to a special report. Give it a name and hit Create. Once the report is ready, if you want to see it, you just go to Customization, Affiliate Report, and you have your information here. If you want to add this report on the sidebar, you just need to go on shortcut, hit shortcut, and give it a name, and then hit OK. And here you have your affiliate report on the sidebar. Every time you click on affiliate report, you will be redirected to the special page. 
Just to conclude the lesson, and remember that if you want to use Thirsty Affiliate as a plugin instead of Pretty Link, it is a good solution. It creates the short code all in one directly in the post editor. But I prefer with my method because I can create really a lot of different kind of affiliate plugin with box and other things. And also I love the Pretty Link feature. So I hope you love the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to Lifestyle Ultimatum to stay updated with new amazing tutorial like this one. And see you soon on the next video.